In the last episode... Honey, where are you taking her? To intensive care. Hey, the psychiatric hospital's over there. Screw you! Introduce yourselves. This is our new economics teacher, Miss Catherine Waters. The great Miss Waters teaches as well as she drives. Then her students have a lot of interesting times ahead. Yeah, Lola. I'll drop my brother kindergarten and straight to you. Good. Damien, come here. Yeah. Hey, I found a toy. I'll call you back. Give that to me right no now. No way. I found it. I found it. It's mine. Yeah. Hello, I'm heading to 14. Well, how is she? No, everything is fine, but yesterday we could have lost her. You have to be very careful. Go to her now, but I would ask you to be careful. She shouldn't be under any stress, all right? Nikki, good morning. How are you? The doctor said that you would be released soon. And I brought you some different things. Fruit? You love that. Have something to eat. And today I'm starting a new job. I decided to change my life. Now I'm an economics teacher at a school. Get lost. Get out! And take your food with you. See you tonight. Hold on, darling. Two seconds, I need coffee. Hey, I miss you too. Our New York breakfasts. Just don't grow bitter, sweetheart. I really, really want you back as soon as possible. Baby, come visit me. At least a few weeks. I can't stand it without you. I feel the same way, but I'm so overloaded with the transition to the new job, and a new job won't give me vacation days right off the bat. You know how it is, and now you're a busy man again. Mm-hmm. Busy. Dad was right on time with the school favor. A manipulator, just like always. Listen, Alex, maybe this school will help. You can write in the appeal that you are having fun with the children, sort of like volunteering, you know, and people will love that sort of thing, right? Great. And that's why I love you, that sharp mind of yours. <laughs> oh, you, and I thought you were interested in other parts of my body. Oh, baby, stop it, I'm already late. I have to run. Kisses. Bye. Bye. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Sorry. Sorry. Well, don't be angry. There was a situation. Get lost. Come on, Lola. Buzz off. I'm not interested. Cut the drooling. You gotta be like Paul to have a chance with that. Yeah, whatever. Paul won't have a chance. I totally got this. Did you see his parkour yesterday? If you could jump around like that, the girls would hang on you too. Okay, I'm out. Are you the smart one here? Well, yes. Well, come on then. 
you're the first to go to the station. We'll figure things out there and call your parents. They throw trash here constantly. I've called the police many times. Finally, you came. Just look at all the cigarette butts. Yeah, we don't even smoke. Oh, you're already here. Well done. And the cleaning I see is over. Do you know these kids? Well, of course, these are my students. You're a bad teacher. Look what they've done around here. Well, wait, what did they do? The garbage is in one pile. Now it just needs to be taken to the bin. You know, we have a clean city campaign at our school. Finish this up and get to class. Madam, next time, please ascertain what's going on and then call. After all, faking a call is punishable by fine. What are you? Well, I'm out of here then. And you better look after your students. Good day. Good day. That was the first and last time. Finish up and then get straight to your class, okay? Got it. Sorry. Hold on. Get this. I have a grenade with me. A real one. For combat. What is this? Not a joke. My baby brother found it in the sandbox today. That's why I was late. I barely got it from him. Then a neighbor started shouting, Don't shouting. touch him! Here. Oh my god, a real grenade? Yes. Let's take a video of it. A child found a grenade. This is gonna be amazing. Give it. No. You crazy? What video? This isn't a toy. I wanted to take it to the cops at first, and then I remembered our first class is freaking English. But I'll go afterward. Cover for me? What is that? It's matte lipstick, like Kylie has. Let me try. Here. What do you need? Did you see how many views Paul's video got? Oh, duh. Paul is cool. I can do that too. You? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I just don't like to show off. Oh, well, okay then. If you do it, I'll give you a kiss. How about I'll do some cool moves, and then you'll see a movie with me? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sure. Twice even. Well, all right then. You promised. Good morning, Dora. I have news about our benefits. Good morning. What? Your politician husband will save us? Oh. 
All right, Mrs. Turner, keep me posted. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, nervous? Just a little. I understand. But today's not the only day you have to worry. You have such complicated classes. In what way are they complicated? At least with kids at a transitional age. Can I offer some friendly advice? Sure. At our school, it is customary to come to work in a business dress. Excuse me, but how can someone's wardrobe affect the quality of their teaching? It's immediately obvious to me that you have never dealt with boys in puberty. Fine. Read it and sign. What? A probationary period? Something like that. But don't worry, it's just a formality. Good. Ah, uh, one more thing. Where can I find out more about your school dress code? Mrs. Turner, I'm going to the director's office. I need to find out whether the new English teacher has arrived. And you, please wait for me. After the bell, I will personally take you to class and introduce you to the students. All right? Okay. Wonderful. Local bitch? Let's go tell Paul. <laughs> John's such garbage. Paul, Paul guess, guess what? what? Basically, John said that he could copy your moves. I can see it already. A pig in flight. <laughs> what is that? Why are you looking at grenades? One false move, and we're all blowing up. Please, please, give me, give me, give me for a video. Please, I'll be Lola, careful. what's wrong with you? Do you want to lose your arms and legs? Or is YouTube more important? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Sit down. <clears throat> Lena, cut the texting. The teacher's in the classroom. Didn't you notice? Yes. As of today, Miss Catherine Waters will be teaching you economics. Please welcome her and begin, please. Sit down. Hello. Well, you already know my name. I will only add that I ran my own business for many years. Oh, what kind? Metal trading. And that points to the fact that I understand the economy. I'll add one more thing to start. What you've been taught is from the previous century. Quiet down. Uh, I'm not catching your drift. So why do we need economics? You'll understand soon. If I offer you a few million, are you saying no? What am I, a loser? Is that what you're offering? Not me, but the economy is. By the way, who would spend the first million on what? On a yacht and girls. Wonderful. Anyone else? I will build a club for myself so I can go whenever I wanted. Wonderful. Olivia would spend all her money on plastic surgery. Yachts, surgeries, girls, boys, none of those involve a return on investment. Regarding the club, by the way, I liked that. So, by the end of the class, you and I will find out which of you will be the first to earn money for a yacht, girls and boys. I would like to divide you into groups. The first is you girls, group two, and group three. Let's get started. What's going on, gentlemen? Hey, please excuse us. We were, uh, uh, cleaning. This is new. And I'm sorry, what were you cleaning? Uh, well... I'll tell you everything later, okay? Double time to class. Sorry. Good morning, Alex. Yes, good morning, Miss Kaufman. I'm sorry I'm late. It's just a few minutes, that's all right. Please, let me walk you to class. 
Uh, that won't be necessary. Uh, I remember where the room is. And what if your students didn't come again? Does that happen here? Alex, this is a school. Everything happens here. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Please sit down. I want to introduce you to your new teacher. Mr. Mendelssohn will be teaching you English for a while. You are very lucky. Mr. Mendelssohn has lived and worked in the United States for a very long time. Thank you, Ms. Kaufman. I'll take it from here. Okay, great. Good luck. Yes, well, what was homework for today? No one assigned anything. <laughs> Time and youth, a great topic. I'm going to adjust it a bit. Now, we will write an essay on the topic, why do I lie? Why am I lying? Stand up. Your last name? Crawford. Minus one point for not knowing the vocabulary, Crawford. The correct translation is, why do I lie? Any questions? We are not allowed to write essays without preparation. I'm allowing it. Okay, clock's ticking. Anyone who chooses not to work will receive an F for the semester. Uh, what? <sighs> Paul, distract him. I have to grab my dictionary. Excuse me, bathroom break? You're not five, you can hold it. I ate something funny. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Please. Okay, feel free. What's going on? Nothing. Show me what you have in your hands. Using dictionaries is prohibited. Miss Waters, is shooting a porno a normal business? You can also sell alcohol and drugs, but I wouldn't recommend it because there is high demand and competition and a chance to wind up behind bars or even in the electric chair in some countries. Lastly, where's the creativity? I will produce identical number plates for homes and sell them to the city because it looks like crap when they just paint them on. Oh, you're a real teacher? Holy crap. Uh -huh. A teacher. This time I will not punish you for being late as you are busy with a noble cause. But next time it'll be extra homework for you. Understood? Okay. Take your seat. We are creating our own startups. Join us. What were they doing? They were doing work for a noble cause. They made millions. And you will hear much more about this during our community cleanup trip today. What cleanup? We cleaned everything up. Quiet down. Can we not go? Was the idea of millions interesting? Yes. yes. So, then everyone's going. I will talk to the director, and this will be counted as a practical lesson. And I want to work with my brain. More precisely, I'm already doing so. I take tests for money. Can that be called a startup? It's possible, but it's no long-term plan. Olivia has a long-term plan. She'll go work for the street corners. What? Ow, 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 All ow. right, sit ow. down. Sorry. Sit down. And you apologize immediately. What? If you keep talking to people like this, you will have nothing except for the occasional street walker. Understand? <laughs> okay. I will be waiting for everyone after school. <sighs> oh, 
All right, trying again. <laughs> Move over, Paul. <laughs> it was really something, I tell her that the economics teacher is so bold. Put us all in place and explain things normally. Not like that old By hag. the way, she covered for us in front of the uh -huh. cops. She just handled it right quick. And the new English teacher's the worst. He was zoned out for half the class and he mm -hmm. was late. And then he shouted at everyone and told them to write essays. Yeah, he's a total loser, but he tries to come off as cool. What kind of cool guy would run away from the USA to become a teacher at our school? Shh, huh? Shh, shut up. What have you forgotten here, Miss Catherine Waters? <laughs> 